Hey, it's We Play, You, you win. win, Sherry and John here, and I'm going to hold the skill stop button here for a moment. We've had Jean S. recommended that we play Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and we did. We, we did, and we keep getting suggestions. Hey, why don't you do more Goldilocks and the Three Bears? So, John, we've got a couple of viewers who asked, you know, let's do the Three Bears again. That's right. So we had uh, Nelly Carrasco and Dual Road Knight both ask about doing Goldilocks and the Three Bears. They may not have known we already did it, but we've been getting these requests in. Okay, so what we've got here, the incident has occurred. Goldilocks has visited the Three Bears' house, and now the Three Bears, they need to get away from the home and kind of relax after the traumatic incident. So they rented an Airbnb in town, and it turns out they get to the apartment and there are some very familiar looking faces in the pictures on the walls. And they realize, oh my goodness, we have rented Goldilocks' apartment. Now it's checkout day and Goldilocks is coming to see how her apartment has fared her weekend tenants. And the bears want to get out of there. They want to get to the prize chute before Goldilocks gets to the prize chute because they just want to avoid an awkward situation. And folks, a few of you may notice that Goldilocks is on a bridge between two red ship buildings on the pusher shelf. John built that part and he's very proud of it. I'm afraid she's probably not going to last very long here, but we've had lots of people asking for various bridges and that's about as far as we can bridge Because bridges with coins are really tricky. I've tried and it takes someone with more talent than I have. All right, my turn. Oh, that left-hand building is starting to go. I want everything to fall in the center. If we can push those center quarters out, we can help the bears escape before Goldilocks shows up. It just really would be awkward. Because apparently, not only is Goldilocks a trespasser and perhaps a criminal mastermind, she's a landlord of some variety. Well... Oh, for it's a stretch. Airbnb Find someone Empire. who does an Airbnb rental, a landlord is a stretch, I think. Hey, there, there are people who rent. We don't know how many of these uh, Airbnbs she, she manages. Well, during, this is 2020, and I would imagine business is slow. Well, that's why, I mean, obviously the Bears can rent an Airbnb. They're not worried. Okay. John finished off his $5, so it's my turn to play $5 again. You notice the mystery bag. They actually, the viewers right now cannot see the mystery bag. It's directly behind the apartment building. So Sherry, how do our viewers win the mystery bag? Well, if you really want to know all the details, the best thing to do is to go to weplayyouwin.com Ooh, the mystery bag is down on the play field. I don't know if it's visible. It barely is. Replayyouwin.com and get all the details there. All right, but my turn. I can tell you, you want to stick around and wait for the mystery bag question. All right, answer. Because every game, every single game, that bag that's in the machine gets given away and a drawing on Sunday morning. Sunday morning, our time. That's right. Oh, we're starting to get some quarters filling in the play field. And Goldilocks is thinking of jumping off the bridge. <laughs> the bridge. It's not that Because she bad, senses Goldilocks. she needs to hurry up to her apartment and find out who's been living in her apartment. Who's been sleeping in her bed? Oh! oh I'm amazed that this tower hasn't fallen. It was threatening to fall every time someone walked across the room. It was jiggling and getting tippy. And now it's just solid as a rock. Oh, oh there went the rest of that building. Turn. Goldilocks is on the way. Well, she has to make it through a pretty hefty wall. She does. You know, I've never stayed in an Airbnb. Me neither. This 
never been. Uh, I don't know. I, I hear wonderful things and I hear horror stories. So I don't oh know. man, that, that structure is not moving on us today. I guess the right Airbnb I'd say. Oh, the hundred thousand dollar ship is trying to scoot it's up on the side. It's trying to get up on the sidewall. What is it doing? It's hypnotic. Oh, I can't stop looking at it. Is that hundred thousand? I can't stop looking at it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna miss everything that's happening because I'm looking at that hundred thousand. Oh my heavens. It's John's turn. All right, here we go. Why is this apartment going down? It's a very solid structure. It is not. Apparently, they only One, build two, really three, solid four. structures in the land of make-believe. The fourth stack of quarters from the top on the right hand side. A big push. It's collapsing. Oh look, you can see the feet on the bottom of the tower are pushing out. Are starting to push out. Oh. Oh, there we go. And Goldilocks is starting to approach. Okay. I'm gonna play over here on the right, see if I can push some of these hundred thousand dollar chips down. It's a good idea. Maybe they'll provide. Oh, that's not the side I was trying oh, to get. Oh, the building's wobbling. Oh. There it goes. Oh, you can see it bouncing. It is. It's. Whoa. You're kidding. The wall's going to go down before the tower does. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that. How is that even physically possible? I'm playing on the right some more. How I think is that's a this good idea. Possible? See if we can help. Those three bears get out before Goldilocks shows up. I wish I had built this during the live stream because it's... Oh! Oh! Bear Baby bear! Baby is bear is out of play! Yes! Baby bear has escaped. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Wait a minute. Goldilocks has a head start. She does. On Mama Bear and Papa Bear. Just all of that mess. They're all together. I don't know. How did Baby Bear... <laughs> Yay, baby, baby bear! bear baby bear is pretty smart, I think. I think so too, but if baby bear suddenly decides to fall back onto the flame field, it could be a disaster. Oh no. Well, you know, one thing about baby bear is if baby bear gets caught, no one can be mad at a baby bear. No. Not even Goldilocks. But we don't want him to end up in a. Oh no, there she goes. I don't believe it. But she's in the middle and she's covered. There's going to be this awkward social situation. This could work. If we can get the bears off yeah. without them getting covered, okay. if we can get them on the on the lower shelf, on just right on the bottom, okay. they have a chance. Because Goldilocks is underneath those two blue ships here on the right today. Mm. So I'm wondering if we should try to play left a little bit. Or right, actually right a little bit, and uh, see if we can move her over to the right, and then we start playing heavy left. Or do we just play know, left? We gotta get those bears down. I say we, let's just get the bears down, and then figure out the logistics. Oh gosh, I don't know. Because we could possibly draw her to the right. Okay, I'm gonna play on the right. I think you're correct. And if we can delay that, oh no. Papa Bear is on the yellow ship, uh, but he's technically ahead of Goldilocks. Because he's on, he's on the not left physically. side. Whoa! Oh. We have a mystery bag stuck in the, in the loot chute. Oh, mystery bag is stuck in the loot chute. Don't worry, folks. It's it's still going to be given away. It does not have to get out into the loot can to be given away, right? That's right. So if you haven't checked out our website, we play, play you win.com, please do. And while you're at it, give us a like, please, on this video. It's ridiculous, it's fun, and we want to make more of them. It's obviously really messy. This is a really messy. Oh no, I bounced a quarter on Baby Bear and Baby Bear wiggled. Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna try and intentionally do it. You want to try to see if we can get Baby Bear back in play? I just want to see. I know it's a cool trick shot. It's against our own best interest to do that. I think we but have to do like a way. quarter and then bounce a quarter on top of on top. 
Now sometimes they like to fling. I don't know if I can do it. Oh. That'll be pretty pretty tough. Oh. There we go. Wait. That that kind of wiggled it. it. Wiggled it. So we might. We're idiots <laughs> if we do that, but it just is a challenge. The Goldilocks has disappeared again. Oh, that does not bode well. You know what happens when they disappear? They suddenly reappear. Oh, mystery bag! There it is, folks. The wonderful mystery bag. Yes. All right, back to the left. And remember to listen for today's mystery bag question. Now, our residents are probably tired of hearing it, but we've been getting a lot of new viewers. So I need to tell you... Mama Bear's down. Oh, Ooh. here we go. Ooh. Big push for Mama Bear. Yes. Okay. The, the prizes in the mystery bags are not valuable. They're not. They're valuable to the they're heart, not, not to the pocketbook. They're not financially valuable. Oh. But emotionally, they give you a little boost. And in 2020, we could all use it. And there are at least six winners every week. At least. At least. Sometimes crazy things happen and there are more. And new people win and people who never win anything have one mystery bag. People who are the first time ever watching, we comment and they win. It's awesome. So when we ask mystery bag questions, oh. just answer with the, in a comment within 24 hours of the video going up. And uh, you have a chance of winning. Mm, I wonder what the question is today. That's always part of the fun. We can't reveal it to you. <laughs> oh. Hey, my, my get money hand is itchy. Oh, is your get money hand the left hand or the right hand? The left hand. Are you sure? Yes. I thought it was the right hand. Is it? I don't know. I thought that was the get money hand. Because look, I'm, I'm playing the coin oh, pusher with my is. right hand. Well, my left hand is itchy. Hmm, if your left hand is itchy, you wonder what that means. Oh, there goes Mama Bear and Mama Bear. Means you it means you have an itchy hand. It is winter time, your furnace is going to blow like crazy. Wow, we've got like $400,000 worth of chips so far. Okay, where did where did Goldilocks go? I think she's still underneath those red, those blue chips in the middle. Uh -oh. I think we have to keep playing left. Help Mama Bear and Papa Bear Get escape with Baby Bear. Baby Bear is already safe. Baby Bear is long gone. Went playing at the playground or something. Okay. Maybe 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 Baby Bear went down to Starbucks to get a latte while Mama Bear and Papa Bear were checking out. I don't know. Could Pumpkin be a modern spice, Baby Bear. Maybe? Pumpkin spice would be appropriate right now. I don't know. Are, are you a fan of pumpkin spice, Sherry? No. Not in coffee. Ew. No. <laughs> what about I'm, I'm other a black pumpkin coffee uses? person. I'm a just give it to me black. Sometimes I'll sometimes I'll splurge and go cream and sugar. But I just I like black coffee. Because I like coffee. And you put flavors in, it's like, why? It doesn't need it. Okay, so a tall Americano coffee or a long black. What do you prefer? Oh, wow. So tall. I like an Americano, but a long black is just Americano. Reverse. That's right. One is a long black, one is an Americano. One is water with coffee added into it, and the other is coffee with water added into it. You should see and some what kind of magic. John is like the opposite of me in coffee. I like a black coffee. John likes a little bit of coffee in his cream and sugar and possibly whipped cream on top if possible. Give me some sprinkles, if please. If they've got sprinkles, he'll take them. Oh, he I love like, sprinkles. He likes to get like a Milky Way, which is it's caramel and blah, lots of stuff. <laughs> Just lots of stuff with a little bit of coffee. He, he likes to hide the flavor of the coffee for some reason. And oh, and I gotta tell you. Oh, I see Goldilocks. Oh, she's, she's right next to Mama Bear. She's right next to Mama Bear. But she Bear. can't see Mama Bear because she's covered up for whatever reason. Okay. 
So we're safe. But if Baby Bear does fall onto the torture cell, he's back in play. And I, I gotta tell you, Sherry, I I have I'm not really a hot coffee drinker. Even like a caramel macchiato, which used to be my go-to. Mmm, man. Back in the days before <laughs> we could go get those things. I learned, I am sorry to say it, to enjoy like the caramel frappuccino from Starbucks. Or really any coffee shop. Oh man. man. Starbucks. Starbucks coffee might as well be an ashtray. And the reason that they make it so super strong is because they know they're gonna put whipped cream and caramel and that another that, mini push. Just so much goop that if you want to taste the coffee at all, it has to be super duper duper strong. Oh, so I love use, that stuff though. Come on. They burn their beans, man. They Who cares? You beans. got all this. The, the, the coffee is really just there for caffeine and flavor. Why don't you just go buy a candy bar, man? Why it doesn't last coffee? as long. Oh, man. And now, John uses the coffee stirs, the plastic coffee stirs, as a straw because, and it's, yes, it's doofy. But when you've got a stash has, like this, I'm sorry. A bushy mustache. You yeah. can't just if I drink out of a coffee cup, I get more foam on my face than it, I do in my mouth. That's just it's bad. It's bad. So Baby I don't Bear mind. Is actually further out, yeah. yes. hanging out further than he was. I think you get more embarrassed when I'm sucking on a coffee stirrer well, than I like, do. I don't care. I've been doing it forever. Yeah, yeah. I started the Mud Mythbusters. Uh, mustache before, before Jamie Hyman was doing that. Yeah. People think that he is Jamie from Mythbusters. Well, ask him. In, in a dark room, like a, like in, in an elevator, I've been asking elevators and I've been asking bars. Well, when he places an order for coffee, he gives his name as Jamie. Jamie. That's just a lot of fun now. Why not? And push. Okay, John, your turn. Well, you know, I don't think I've placed the coffee order since March. Before March. Before March. So it's been a while since I had a taste of my creamy sprinkle sprinkle crusted coffee. Oh man. Uh, and uh well your sister your sister likes the coffee stuff too. She she lives on that. Hey when she, when she visited, that was our thing. She and I would head down to Starbucks and get yes. some of her goopy, sprinkle-covered stuff that you can't stand. That's true. Okay. Let's see. Where are we at? Hmm. Papa Bear is making good progress. Oh, and a push. Now, oh, Mama Bear just I will good. say the best coffee I've ever had was when I was in India about 15 years ago. The way they pull their coffee and... And they put chicory in there, too. Yeah, and I don't know nice. what all they did. I love the Indian coffee I got when I was in India 15 years ago. Oh. Your turn. I like chicory also. I do. It's hard to find a nice coffee with chicory in it. Well, you like... Uh, what's that... Uh, well, you like Postum, right? You're a Postum drinker. I do, I like Postum. It's quite popular around here. And, so uh, we have a, a lot of people in our area who, who don't drink coffee. caffeine. That's right. And so they drink Postum. Postum is expensive. It's like $11 for a little jar of Postum. Yep. But you like that stuff. Wasn't there yeah, chicory in Postum? Uh, no, I think it's like uh, toasted barley or something. That's right, it's a barley drink. Yeah, well, there are different flavors of Postum. Oh, Goldilocks is still hiding. You can just see her green token. Mama and Papa right Bear there. are moving. And she's just, Goldilocks is kind of hiccuping because she's wedged in a bunch of those big rectangular chips. And a push. So the worst thing that could happen right now is if Baby Bear falls, falls back, falls into, back play. into play. Which we, he could do because he's right there in he the has, roll zone. He has jiggled. He is hanging off that wall. Oh. Wow, you just. 
Real just almost helped him back into play. We got to start working on our trick shots. It's hard to do trick shots in this coin pusher, though. It's not really set up to let you do crazy stuff. No. Well, they put this different uh, coin mechanism. And I think the reason that this mechanism is like this is because the people were always, if their quarters were always ending up on the sidewalls in an arcade or a casino, people would be complaining. I it, could see the, that. This particular one, uh, it's a it's a Z slot, and it's because of. Uh, People using fake coins and stuff. It makes it harder oh, to use. Oh, so people aren't using slugs? Yeah, and washers and stuff. So, so they say on the manufacturer's, manufacturer's website. Yeah. All right. I think Papa Bear is going to come out first. But Goldilocks. Yeah, he's, he's under a hundred thousand dollar chip. He's he's on the far left. He's sitting on a thousand dollar chip and under a hundred thousand. And here's a hundred thousand. Wow, that's a lot of loot. We've got a good chance here. Because I'm rooting for the bears, frankly. This is just all a very strange happenstance. They did not intend to stay anywhere near Goldilocks. Oh, what was that? What? What did you see? I thought we had another... Oh, I thought Papa Bear came down. It oh, no. He's he's still wedged up there. He's moving. All right. Come on. I don't want Baby Bear to roll back into play. I'm so he keeps rolling. He keeps launching. But that's when we have to play. That's... You're gonna knock him back in the plate. Okay, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, come on. Hey, Goldilocks is now halfway out from under that ten thousand dollars. She's finding her way. She is. I don't think I'd want to like rent our house out, our actual residence out. I don't think I'd like. That. Well, you know, I think for some people it's a get it's a way to make some extra money to get some extra rooms. Well, I wouldn't mind. I think it'd be okay to have like a bed and breakfast. You know, people come and stay in the house, just the room, stay for breakfast, and bye. It's a good way to meet people from all over the place. Yeah, but go away and just have strangers in your house for days at a time would feel weird. at all the big old Victorian houses and they've got like eight bedrooms. <laughs> so right. if you've got one of those houses you Papa Bear is still underneath that red $100,000 chip. He is. And Goldilocks. Oh, I can see her blue eye. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. It's because I said I felt good about this. That's right. He okay. thought this game was in the... Your turn. I was all ready to rock and roll. But if you ever got one of those big, giant, old Victorian mansion things, you kind of have to have a bed and breakfast. Because how do you justify... Unless you have 11 kids. Oh, no. The Papa Bear is wedged in that stack in this corner. And Mama Bear is about to follow him. And Goldilocks... There's a three-way tie, what do you do? They all end up stuck in the log jam and falling at the same time. How do we call that? Tie goes to the runner. They're all running. Mama Bear and Papa Bear are trying to run out of there before True. they're getting caught by Goldilocks. Okay. Goldilocks doesn't know. Hey, maybe Goldilocks was over at the same Starbucks with Baby Bear or coffee shop. It wasn't, it wasn't Starbucks. There's a Starbucks in the bathroom of Starbucks. 
There's so many Starbucks. Well, there is a Starbucks in, uh, never mind. In where? No, but they actually where? should build a Starbucks. It's in that oh. like Starbucks oh. somewhere. What, what we did? No, nope, nothing. Top of bear looked like ah! what? 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 Very funny. What? Very funny. What? You know what? What? You put that big. Oh, Simon's big here. Troll. Simon, hey, how are you doing? Simon came for a visit, folks. We were not a quarter. So I am not reaching in there. I'm not doing it. You have to make that. Sorry. And the trolls are getting bigger around here. Playing on the left. What was that? Was that in? That, that it was in? I never saw it. All right, here we go. All right, see if you can get Papa Bear unwedged. Oh. Oh, Mama Bear might oh. get out first. John turn. All right, here we go. I don't know. I think Mom, well, yes, she might. She might, because she's not clogged up there. Oh, well, wait, no, she is. She's on that blue chip. She's in the clog zone. I want a big push. Uh-oh. The only one that moved. Let's pull the box. Oh, this is not good. Oh, man. We got too much stuff in that left-hand corner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Is that visible on the camera, how clogged it is? It mostly is. Kind of. And folks, we can't adjust the camera to give you a better view because it's all hitting the front of the coin pusher. Wow. Wow. And it's John's turn. Ooh, nice oh. push. Oh, no. The only one moving is Goldilocks. Come on. Papa Bear, lift that red chip off of you, man. Come on. He hasn't budged in a long time. No, I think... He hasn't budged in like $50. I'm worried it's winter time and he's feeling really lethargic. Uh-oh, he's hibernating? Yeah, you might have taken a nap. Oh, no. I mean... That's right there, folks. If you are an Airbnb booking agent, I don't know how they even do it, don't rent to bears in the winter time. They're not going to check out on time. Once they move in, yeah, they're probably just, they're going to be really grumpy when you wake them up, too. I don't think it's a good idea. You know, I wonder if we look at Airbnb's policies, if there's, oh, Sherry just got the I troll hole. I got the hole. troll activated. Okay, let me look, finish. Look, look, they okay. helped you. Here you go. Okay. Uh-oh. That means I get to play a second $5 stack of quarters. The trolls have been triggered. They have been. See, they they're helping. You were getting mad at Simon, and there he was trying to help you. He is a giant, creepy troll. Oh, and a push. Anyone who just randomly goes to reach down into a container, and there is a giant troll... Let's you scream with joy. There was no joy in that scream. There was not joy in that scream. That was a scream of oh, sure terror. Well, it's not sure terror. I'm, I'm not afraid of ghosts. It's a jump scare situation. Who needs scary movies when you have a coin pusher full of trolls, huh? Right. Oh, I see quarters sliding out there on the left. You know, I'm not a... I'm a scary movie person, but like the suspense kind, which are jump scares, amazing. I don't like the horror films that have a lot of gore and yuck. I don't like those. Yeah, they're just not your cup of tea. Mine either, frankly. Well, you don't even like the suspense films. No, not really. I find life is pretty scary as it is. I don't need <laughs> a jump scare. I make my own fun, especially with the coin pusher. Oh, yeah. Comes a little close. Man. The only one who's moving purposefully is Goldilocks. I don't think the bears are going to So there's a stack of quarters 
underneath the Papa Bear mess over there. If we can slide them out. Your turn, John. It might cause the stack to fall. If we just keep loading up left. The other option is to try playing right and change the flow, and that'll pull everything out, but that might speed up Goldilocks' exit. I think we have to play right. We've been playing left all this time, and it's not helping. See if we can unclog things on the right? Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't like the feeling of this, Mr. Sark. I like how that red hundred grand ship is just hanging off the edge over the pusher shelf. Yeah. And now the quarters are rolling over by Baby Bear. Well, it's possible Baby Bear could suddenly come in. Oh, Goldilocks just got covered up. She got up. covered up. She's going to pop right out. Okay, John. Your turn. Now, she must be a really astute business person. She wants I to get guess. that inspection done. And when you've got valuable property, you take care of it. She just doesn't respect okay. other people's property. I guess. There are a lot of people like that, unfortunately. Of course, it wasn't he said, she said. I mean, the door was unlocked. True. But you don't go walking into someone's house. That's... That's unacceptable. Oh, I dropped a quarter. Maybe she claimed she was invited. She was not invited. But, hey, in a he said, she said situation. So, what was the evidence in the end? A broken chair? Some eating porridge? Some eyewitnesses? She got caught red-handed. She was asleep in Baby Bear's bed. She must have had some. Well, the bears caught her there. Oh, that was a big push right out the middle. This could help us. I don't know. I'm nervous. I don't like that she's buried. When yeah, they get that's... buried, that's when they, they kind of pop out. Funnel out and suddenly there they are. Okay, I'm going to stay on the right because it has changed the way things are moving. Hey, that actually, Mama Bear actually moved. Did she? She did. Towards the log jam. But she wasn't moving at all. See, she see, she's backwards. sliding backwards. She's moving, though, and she hadn't been moving. So she's, not, she's moving towards her husband, though. Movement is better than no movement. So your turn, John. Yeah. Playing, playing right, keep playing right. Oh, big fall. Got some hundred thousand dollars. Oh, yes. Available on Amazon. Available on Amazon. We should make a list of all the things. Everything, well, 90% of this stuff is from Amazon. And the other 10% are things we have laying around. It's all purchasable online. You know, we should make a list of it so people who are interested can, can oh, get some. Push. We are. We're definitely getting some movement. We were getting zero movement before, but it's not really moving the stuff that we want to move yet. Now some quarters are falling on the, on the over there on the left. That start. That is quite the lodging. Oh, 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 oh! They're actually the big, the big tiles on the left. Down. They're moving. Okay, we need to stay on the right. It's actually, it's doing something. Coin pusher physics. Weird. Does not work, operate like the rest of the universe. Anything that you think 
would be what to do. Just do the opposite. That's how you win on a corn push. Is there another push? Nope. Your turn, John. All right. And playing right. Following Sherry's strategy here. See if it pays off. And we unclog the left by playing the right. Dump the loot cam. He's gone through $300 worth of quarters. Just to get three little bears out of a coin pusher machine. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Goldilocks is just peeking out. She is. It's that one. It's her left eye again, isn't it? She's I watching guess. what's going on. Oh, another little push. Down's turn. Oh, there's movement on the right. Are we, there's movement on the right. So are we staying on the right? Yes. Staying on the right to clear the left. Well, we played, we played like a hundred dollars on the left. Lots of movement. And do another rapid fire. We get some court. We got some bounce going on the left. All right, Sherry. Okay. Fling those quarters. Oh, John, guess what? Did we get it? Yes. All right. Hey, hey, do we get Papa Bear? Is Papa Bear out? Check and I see. I see what we got here. We got 100,000, 100,000. Yellow chip, 100,000. Yellow chip. And where, oh, where is Papa Bear? Is he still up here? He is still in the coin pusher. He's, He's underneath that. Red chip on the left. Okay, I'm playing on the left. Should I not be? Should you I stay on the right? I think we just, you just unclogged it. No, you did it. Well, regardless, it's unclogged. I think we can we can push them out now. Okay. John's turn. All right. I'm excited now. I was thinking all hope was lost. Well, that was a great strategy. Play the right, completely drop the left. Okay. Come on, Mama Bear. Catch up with Papa Bear. Maybe give him a push in the right direction. Oh, she just, she moved like an inch. Awesome. Oh, oh Mama Bear is on the move. Yes. Who did you see how much she moved? Oh that my God. That was great. The Papa Bear is right there with her. They're hand in hand. What Don't a lovely let couple. Don't baby bear fall on the play field. Please be careful. Baby bear is still pretty secure up there. But he's like a third of the way off of that wall. It would have to take a miracle drop for him to suddenly drop into the coin pusher. So far, so good. And I think we're about to drop Papa Bear. Here he goes. Ooh. Thousand dollars and Papa Bear. And one more quarter on the left and Sherry. There you go. Okay. Mama Bear just moved a whole lot, a whole whole lot. Wow! Ooh, giant push all the way across the board. Come on, Mama. 
Oh, and a push. Baby bear is goes. safe. Papa For now, bear is safe. game ain't over till Mama and Papa Bear are in the coin chute and Baby Bear is safely on the side. Be careful, be careful. I'm so nervous because we have to play over there at this point. And all it's going to take is one well-placed bounce. That's right. He's teetering. He is. Wouldn't take much. <gasps> there she goes. Mama's going to fall. Come on, Mama. All right, Sherry, go for it. Knock okay. her down. Okay, okay. I could do it. I could do it. Ah! I didn't even put a quarter in. You got you. it. All right. You got it. Guess what? Here is Papa Bear and Mama Bear. And Baby Bear is... Where is Baby Bear? Ah, All the way Baby back Bear. there. So, whew, avoid it. A socially awkward situation. So, folks, today, Baby Bear or Goldilocks, or maybe both of them, were off getting coffee. We spent quite a bit of time talking about coffee. What is your favorite coffee? Is it black? Is it mixed with group, goop and sprinkles like me? Is it coffee ice cream? What is it? Is it you don't like coffee at all? A lot of people. Comment on this video with your answer within 24 hours of this video being posted and you'll have a chance doing that. Look in the description of the video to know when's the last time you can actually post a comment or check out our website, weplayyouwin.com. I'm going to go have a cup of coffee now. I think that sounds Everyone, like fun. be safe, be healthy, and please come back and, and spend some more time with us for our next game. Bye.